Understanding positive-negative relationships allows artists and designers to gain control over a powerful means of coordinating visual elements in two-dimensional space. In MoMA's exhibit entry area, the white areas above and below the typography on both the left and right walls are part of a deliberate system of the overall design. The areas, and this is for, for people not familiar with the terms positive-negative, the areas that appear empty are frequently referred to as negative space. These areas can, in fact, become very dynamic to the point of establishing their own pattern, their own pacing, their own rhythm. The large letter forms in the large red panel would be considered positive shapes. The red panel in and of itself has its own play of positive black text and negative red space. There are, in fact, active patterns of negative space within and in between the letters, the letter forms themselves. There is hardly anything anyone can do in the visual arts that does not affect space. All the shapes you see, both positive and negative, involve at some point creative control. This brochure cover by Kit Hendricks of Pentagram for Potlatch McCoy paper presents a nice balance between positive and negative forces. The two is nearly completely consumed by the background, but begins to emerge into the foreground due to the collage of partially hidden and overlapping shapes. This publication designed by Jessica Helfen and William Drentel of Winterhouse uses negative space as an element of visual pacing and containment that also creates an elegant sense of order. Its role in creating negative pattern becomes even more apparent along the bottom as the system of black lines and shapes creates its own unique pattern and pacing. Just as important, the title's use of background, the background color white, helps drive the negative space into the foreground, creating an intriguing use of depth. This beautiful painting by the 18th century Japanese master Katsushika Hokusai demonstrates the impact of Notan. Notan is a Japanese design concept involving the play and placement of light and dark shapes and lines and is the forerunner to our 20th century sensibilities involving the division of two-dimensional space. There is clearly a rhythmical pacing of shapes here that results in an interesting pattern of lights, darks, and midtones. One can also see that positive-negative or figure-ground relationships are very much in play. The positive areas have been deliberately selected and arranged as have the negative areas. In this painting, one can see a strong contrast between positive and negative shapes. The negative shapes clearly are shapes. There is even a contrast of, of proportion in terms of size regarding uh, the negative shapes. There is a state of repetition and variation uh, that exists between the larger negative shape over here in this area and the smaller one. This annual report I designed for Paula Financial uses negative space both as a containing mechanism and the coordinating mechanism. The inset booklet's cover contains two crests of negative space. This shape over here, this crest-like shape, and this crest-like shape of negative space. That results in the repetition of a shape, but with noticeable variation. The act of repetition creates unity, and the act of variation enhances interest. This MOBA installation of Jennifer Bartlett's Rhapsody uses negative space as a finely articulated network of lines, creating a tension that acts like a visual glue, holding everything in its place elegantly. This linear network, or grid, helps to control the overall distribution of values resulting in an orderly but rhythmical pacing of lighter, medium, and darker visual elements. This album cover designed by Reed Miles 
demonstrates a rhythmical pacing of lighter, medium, and darker visual elements. Talking about the light type, uh, the red, which is sort of a medium value, and of course a darker, darker black text. Notice how the negative space is divided up into large, sort of medium, and smaller zones, and sort of provides some variety. And notice how the shapes of negative space sort of repeat some of the shapes of uh, positive shapes. So there's repetition between the positive shapes of type and the negative shapes uh, that envelop and surround the type and contain the type. The negative space has assumed its own prominence as a dynamic network of shapes.